I'm not above eating a good fish stick. Make some coleslaw, a creamy sauce, put it in some tortillas, fish taco night. Clever. Herbert. Yeah. Not all of these are worthy of a good taco. I was afraid you were going to say not all these are made with real fish. <laughs> <laughs> or are they? They're all made with fish. Okay. Um, uh, so some of them are quite good. Others, I'm going to allow you to decide what you think of them. <laughs> so we bake them according to the package instructions. A couple things. We found that the best ones are made with just Pollock. Now, that's the standard fish. Right. Um, uh, the winner, in fact, comes, uh, they're using Alaska Pollock. Brands that had multiple fish. Mm -hmm. And in fact, there was one that tasters described as breaded fried canned tuna. What? <laughs> Interesting. It didn't have tuna in it, but it was really oily uh. and fishy. And so, like, that's not actually what you want in a fish stick. You want a mild fish. Um, Found it. Yep. <laughs> Same. <laughs> some of these are made with whole fish that's sliced and then breaded mm -hmm. and par-fried. A lot of them are made with minced fish. And I assumed, oh, isn't a sliced fish going to be better than the minced fish? No. Not necessarily. Uh, we have two co-winners. Mm. One was sliced fish, one was minced fish. Mm. So um, you can actually see the flakes in the one yeah. that's made with the sliced fish. But honestly, from a flavor perspective, you'd never know unless somebody told you. Probably the most important factor was the breading. Mm -hmm. And w we had thought at first it was the amount of breading. So we scraped all the breading off, weighed the breading to the <laughs> fish, like, and they were all the same. So we're like, oh, it wasn't the amount of breading. It was the amount of toasting in the breading. Mm. Because when we noticed when the packages came out of the freezer, some of them looked more toasty than others. And either they're pre-toasting those crumbs or maybe they're par-frying a little bit longer. And so the better it looks when it comes out of the freezer, the better it's gonna look when it gets on the plate. This tastes like elementary school to me. And that's a great thing. Like these are the fish sticks I remember. These are the fish sticks I feel like I grew up with. I'm loving them. I actually like this one as well. Um, this one has a little bit more of a fresh fish taste. Okay. If one can have a fresh fish taste here. This, you mentioned tuna, right as I was biting into it, I was like, that is the actual whole sandwich. They toasted the bread, they had the mayonnaise, the tuna, it's all in there. Not my cup of tea. It's a fish croquette. Marketing. <laughs> and this particular one, um, the fish itself is fine. Um, actually, I don't mind it at all, but um, the coating is a little, I like the crispiness here, and mm -hmm. this is a little too tough for me. Okay, and mm -hmm. Ms. Julia? Well, originally I liked this one because I broke it open, I could see the flakes, mm -hmm. but the flavor of it actually has sort of an oniony, old garlicky flavor. It could be from the freezer. Mm -hmm. um, and the coating is just a little um, stale. Okay. This one I must have liked because it's gone. Yeah. And that tells me a lot right there. Mm -hmm. And this one, this one I liked too. You said elementary school. Mm -hmm. And there's something very nostalgic about this. Uh, it didn't offend me in any which way. I could have easily eaten a bunch of those. So I'm thinking probably my favorite was C. I wish I could taste more of it. I'm actually going to go with D as my favorite because okay. it just really pulled me all the way back to sixth grade. All right, let's go in order. Let's start with A. So A is here in the front. This is Pacific. This is a gluten-free option. Mm. You know, a lot of kids get fish sticks, so right. you want to try a gluten-free. It's got a corn and rice coating. Mm. And we felt like the coating wasn't ideal, mm. but it was acceptable. Yeah. Um, sure. And the fish was nice. Yeah, mm. fish was uh, great. So um, B, the one that I think elicited the most negative comments, Tasters agree with you. This is the one that's got five fish in it. And let's just say oh. one fish is better than five fish. Mm. Um, <laughs> it's really fishy um, and oily and not in a good way. Yep. C, so this is from Gorton's. Mm -hmm. And this is the one that's made with whole fish that they slice. It's a co-winner. Um, and so you have high class taste. And D, you mentioned what you had in grade school. This is our other co-winner from Gorton's. Makes sense, I um, have low class taste. <laughs> I was going to say you're old fashioned, my dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know? And this is made with minced fish. I'm assuming that if your elementary school is anything like mine, they weren't paying the big bucks to get sliced fish. Not in landlocked West Virginia. <laughs> both of these products from Gordon's are made with wild caught Alaska Pollock and both excellent choices. It will make a good taco. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So there you have it. Buy either one of the Gordon's. You can go fancy or you can go simple. I think he called me old. I heard it. Looking for kitchen inspiration on the go? Check out the America's Test Kitchen mobile app. Cook with confidence and take our recipes, reviews, and more wherever you go. Access thousands of fail-proof recipes, equipment reviews, how-to videos, and full episodes of our TV shows. 
with smart searching, favorites, and other tools, it's your ultimate kitchen companion. Download the America's Test Kitchen mobile app today. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you're ready to take your cooking to the next level, head over to americastestkitchen.com and get a free all-access trial membership. While you're there, you can sign up for our free email newsletters and download our app. With unlimited access to over 14,000 of our Test Kitchen recipes and 8,000 product reviews, you'll have everything you need to cook and learn. So I ask, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Let's make something great together.